Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic are just starting their recovery. This after being pounded by Hurricane Fiona this week. The storm knocked out power to hundreds of thousands of homes and flooded neighborhoods. Entire neighborhoods saturated with water and estimated 80% of the island left without power. Many Puerto Ricans now depend on generators to power their homes if they can find gas. A power provider says it is working around the clock to repair transmission lines and restore service, but full restoration could still be days away. The island's residents insist they are resilient. Puerto Ricans, we've been tested by, by everything. Um, Hurricane Maria made us tougher than we, we were. I can tell you now that we are already rebuilding. More than 200 miles away, the Dominican Republic is also recovering from Fiona. Rivers are overflowing and about 700,000 people are without power. And now the hurricane Fiona has grown into a category four hurricane as it mound move, moves north to Turks and, Ca and uh, Turks and Ca Caicos. So we're talking about the devastation that's left behind in places like Puerto Rico. That island been hit with what authorities describe as historic flooding. The heavy wind and the rain leaving the majority of households without power or running water. The Red Cross has sent over 500 volunteers there to assist in the relief operation. We're just entering the busiest of seasons. Yesterday I was on a national disaster cycle services call and the national director said that while a week ago we expected a light hurricane season, now with a looming weather, we're expecting a delayed hurricane season. So we expect to be very active in the next week, two weeks. The Red Cross says the best way for you to help out is to make a cash donation. They're also looking for more volunteers. There is much more information available at redcross.org.